Hi, this is Becky Ivins, and I've been selling real estate for 40 years. Our team of highly trained professionals, along with our solid marketing plan, has sold thousands and thousands of homes over central Oklahoma. This is how we do it. So as a real estate agent, what should you invest in? Well, the first thing is to invest in yourself, so that's what we're going to talk about. Um, you need a clean car. It needs not to have any bumps or bruises on it. doesn't have to be, shoot, I think my car's four years old. Uh, but it, you need a clean car and you need a smartphone with unlimited everything on it because you live on your phone for information. Uh, so those two things you definitely need to invest in. Another thing to invest in is your education. You simply must, I. I advise all my agents get your GRI right off the bat because a GRI first of all you get a lot of information in GRI classes uh, and besides the information you get the designation behind your name it always looks good to have a designation behind your name and with GRI guess what you don't have to pay for it year after year after year with my designations I want to tell you something I pay seventeen hundred dollars a year to renew designations. That's a lot of money. GRI doesn't cost anything year after year. You can use it, you earn it, you get to use it forever. So that's a, that's a definite, invest in GRI. Uh, invest in RPAC. RPAC is the Realtor Political Action Committee. They, I mean, if you can do $25 a year, just do $25 a year for a while. But eventually you're going to want to up that because that preserves our industry and helps us moving forward to protect our own chosen field of work. Uh, another thing you need to invest in is your personal grooming. If you've got, if you're a lady and uh, you need to get your hair done every three weeks, get it done every three weeks. Uh, if, I mean, have good shoes. Shoes is one of the really the things that cost me a lot of money because realtors are really hard on shoes. You walk a lot, you sit, you drive a car so the back end of your shoe gets worn out where it rubs on the floorboard. The shoes get damaged walking in gravel, on wet grass, you step in mud. So you've got to have decent shoes, you've got to have decent outfits. Get yourself three decent outfits. Nobody pays attention to what you wear every single day. Just get yourself professional outfits. I had someone come to my office, boy I could tell you two or three stories about this, agents who interviewed with me, buttoned up with the most preppy outfit. I mean, black and white, red, loafers to match, perfect. Hired her, the next day she comes in a backless dress with a tattoo all the way over her back. And, I mean, backless to the waist. And I'm going, First of all, none of us mind tattoos. That's a way of life, so don't get me wrong there. But to present yourself as one thing and then to become another thing, that was just deceitful. Uh, I also had an agent that came in from a showing in a halter top and shorts. Well, that's not professional. You, as my kids would say, no hoochie mama halter tops. Okay, professional dress. You have to give a professional appearance. They're spending a lot of money. They're depending on you as an advisor. So you need to look as professional as you can. So if your style is a little more out there, make it consistent and let your brain do the talking, not your body. That some people never get that point. You have to show knowledge, you have to show compassion, you must be competent, and to do all that in flip-flops and uh, cut-off shorts is, isn't is believable. It's not someone that they can trust. So, now I'm a very casual person, typically. You're going to be, I mean, this is as dressy as I get. So, 
it's okay to be casual, but look like somebody that you, they can depend on. So invest in a, two or three outfits, buy some decent shoes and keep them clean, uh, have a smartphone, get a good GPS. And by the way, when I buy a car, I buy three things in a car. You, I have to have something to air out a hot car. I mean, a sunroof that'll flip up because the car gets so hot between showings. You can go into a house and it's so hot when you get back out there. So I demand that. I demand a four-wheel drive because we drive in all conditions and we drive a lot. So you need a really safe car with a four-wheel drive. Uh, and I say four-wheel, I think it's all-wheel drive where all the wheels work independently so that you can get a grip on the road in the rain and stuff like that. No, I do not drive a four-wheel drive Hummer, okay? <laughs> I'm more of a Cadillac Lincoln type person. Uh, but, uh, and then have a really good smartphone that you know how to operate and master your systems on the phone. So what would you invest in? Invest in learning your systems, invest in knowing your time, your time management, uh, and invest in the basics of a professional wardrobe. Uh, always cap that off with a lot of education. This is Becky Ivins, and if you want to join a team that values education, values your time, is a professionally run outfit. We want you to come talk to us at 405-722-3232. We have fun on our team and we serve a lot of clients. So saddle up and get ready if you come over because you're going to have a lot of business.